Former White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel kicked off his bid for Chicago mayor with standard fare, chatting with commuters at L stations and bus stops, listening to voter concerns over breakfast at a Southside restaurant, and posing for cell phone photos at nearly every stop along the way. Everything I've seen and heard about him over the years, you know, everything he's done, seems like a great guy for the city. He's going to make things work. While many appeared to be excited about the return of a native son, autograph, uh, sign my sleeve. No, Political no, no. watchers say Emmanuel has some hurdles to overcome to really have a shot at becoming mayor. One question that has popped up is he eligible to lead a city he hasn't lived in for more than a year? Well, technically, he could be prevented from running. Um, it is up to, first of all, the Chicago Board of Elections uh, to make a determination, and then it can go into the courts. So certainly it is a serious issue. Living arrangements aside, some Chicagoans are critical of his track record. The time in the era that candidates can come to the black community and promise us the world and deliver nothing, them days are long gone. Now when candidates come to our community, they're going to have to answer legitimate questions and they're going to have to show what they have done in the past. And these guys, this guy haven't done anything for us in the past. Manuel seems to recognize well, that his job, at least for now, right, is to right, reconnect with the Windy City, right. something yeah, he's hoping to accomplish on the so-called oh, Tell It Like It Is tour. <laughs> right, why do you think you would be the best candidate for uh I don't know about for mayor. Well, first of all, because I want to work, I want to work real hard at this. Right. A, a determination to hear from everybody about what the issues are, because okay. the issues that are across the city, from job growth, that's true, economic development, mm -hmm. making our streets safe, that's very important, and making sure our cool schools are at the top of the game. He says he will spend the next few weeks crisscrossing the city, trying to convince voters he has the wisdom and experience to take over Chicago's city hall come next May. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.